We'll start with the airports, right? Hundreds of flights across the country canceled yesterday with consumer complaints against airlines skyrocketing. And then you turn to the roads again. It's a busy day at O'Hare Airport. You turn to the roads. We have gas prices hovering near record highs and the White House taking meetings with big oil to try to bring frustrated Americans some needed relief. This morning, with the July 4th travel surge fast approaching, mayhem is mounting. Canceled flights snarling America's airports. Very disappointing, very frustrating, very frustrating. Sky-high gas prices hovering near $5 a gallon, draining drivers' wallets. $200 to fill this up. $200 to fill this up? Yep. That's <laughs> painful. Yeah, it's very painful. The travel woes lost on no one. It costs a lot. Gas costs a lot. Americans' frustrations rippling to the White House. We want oil company to get to a, a higher capacity. That's what we're asking for. Thursday, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm meeting with big oil CEOs and doubling down on President Biden's demand that companies boost supply and pass savings on to consumers. This after the president called on Congress Wednesday to suspend the federal gas tax for three months. The American people, they need relief now. Pain at the pump adding to stress in the skies. New data shows consumer complaints against airlines spiked a staggering 300 percent in the last three years. More than 800 flights were canceled on Thursday alone, with some of the biggest U.S. carriers announcing they're dropping routes long term. United cutting close to 50 daily departures from Newark Airport. American axing flights from four cities in New York, Ohio and Iowa. Clear signs, experts say, of an industry plagued by staffing shortages soaring demand and severe weather. Cancellation stacking up as an estimated 11 million Americans are set to fly over the July 4th holiday, the highest total since the pandemic began. How much worse do you think this could get? There's no sugarcoating it. It's going to be a tough summer and, and consumers have to be proactive. You can't just make a booking and assume that everything's going to go well because it may go. not. All right, when you have a kid this cute, quite frankly, you have to put them on TV. Eight-year-old Calder here and his mom, Tracy. I'm so sorry. You guys are flying to Florida from yes. Chicago. Yeah. Do you know, is your flight on time at this point? Oh, we're just checking in. I have no idea. Yeah. I haven't even looked yet. This might be a rough moment. <laughs> it seems to be okay? I don't know. Where's Tampa? I'm looking. Oh, we're on time. They're on time. Okay, great. Do you Wait. know the cancellations have been <laughs> stacking up and it's been... We're, you know what? We're, can we just pause? Maggie, yeah. Maggie. Maggie. Just, we're here with my mom's checking in for us, so I just follow her lead. Absolutely. Maggie, what? we're just happy we're, they're on time. I think we should yeah. end on the fact that someone's going out on time. That was good. And no one's more excited about it than that Someone's kid, going though. out on time. Paul All right. wanted to say hi. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. Th thank you, Maggie. Um, they're getting out on time. You landed at 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. What up with that? What happened? At about 1 a.m. My flight was canceled yesterday yeah. from Savannah, Georgia. I was down yeah. for a shoot, and flight was delayed, delayed, then canceled. Wasn't weather. The crew timed out. Oh, the that happens now because yeah, there are not enough people. Last flight. Got a jet blue out last Come night. on, you made so, it. Of course you'd be close, here. I knew you'd be here. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.